Now we've been given this data set and this goal. We need to count the sales between an upper and a lower limit. But we've been given very specific lower and upper limits. The lower limit cannot be included, but the upper limit, so if there's a 500 in that category right there, it has to be counted. Well, I'm going to use a pivot table because that's the easiest way. I click in a single cell, insert pivot table, or I can use the keyboard, Alt N V T. I want to put it in an existing sheet. Let's put it there, click OK. Let's take sales, drag it down to rows, and instantly it does what it's supposed to. It gives us a unique list, but we can right click group. It shows us the min and the max and the increment. I want this to be neat and tidy, so we'll start at 0, and we'll go up to, we'll round it up to 2,000, and we'll have increments of 500. When I click OK, right click group by, I think I left out a 0, click OK. That's looking much better. I'm going to drag sales down to values, and bam, there's our count. But I got a count of 5 for 0 to 500. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I really need to include the upper limit, you can't use a pivot table. When the data has decimals, the grouping feature does not include the upper limit. That's when we switch over to formulas. We can use count ifs, not count if, but the one with the s, criteria range. Well, we have an upper and lower limit, and we have to repeat the sales column twice, comma, criteria. This is the lower limit, so I have to say greater than, in double quotes, ampersand. And if I were using a single cell and copying it, I'd just put that and lock that. But I don't want that. I want a dynamic spilled array formula. So I'm going to highlight all four conditions. So count ifs will spill all four answers, comma. We repeat the sales column, comma, and the upper limit, whatever we're looking at, has to be less than or equal to, in double quotes, ampersand, highlight the upper limits. And when I close parentheses, Control Enter, bam, we get the correct count of 6, because in this category, 500 is included. Now, a lot of times when I have reports like this, I'll put a label off to the side, something like this. We have our lower limits, and then we join it to, and we want to put text. We want sales to be greater than. The equal sign is not on the lower end. Sales are in the middle. Sales simultaneously have to be less than or equal to the upper limit. When I highlight and hit Enter, there are labels that say exactly what's going on. Now, these are great. I tend to put something like not included or upper limit not included. Now, here's a great trick. In a pivot table, what if you wanted to do something similar? I'm highlighting just the row area of the pivot table up to Home, Find, or Control-H. And guess what? I'm going to search for a dash. And in its place, I'm going to replace that with that. Click Replace All. Click OK, close, and now our pivot table also has explicit labels. Now there is one other formula method, and it involves using the frequency function. Now the thing about the frequency function is you got to be clear on how the categories are created. Now the upper limits are included, but there's an upper and lower category that are different than the middle ones. These middle ones are exactly like the ones we did for the count ifs. But because when they designed frequency, they wanted to catch every possible value, and they didn't trust people to put the correct upper limits, they have the lower category as everything equal to or less than this. So it could go down to whatever negative number you wanted. And then they always included one last upper category to catch any numbers that might be bigger than the upper limit that you give it. So frequency, you just need the data, comma, and the upper limits. Control Enter, it's a dynamic spilled array formula, and it automatically adds that last one. If I put 5,000 here, sure enough, 
it counts, Control Z. If I put minus 500, sure enough, that catches it, Control Z. So we have frequency as a formula, count ifs, and pivot tables. And really, the most important thing about this video, which is a surprise to a lot of people, if your numbers have decimals and you group, that upper limit is not included. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.